welcome back to my kitchen for a brand new video. I'm super excited because today we're gonna to be making crispy fish tacos. Basically picture the crispiest battered fish that's seasoned to perfection on top of the beautifully toasted corn or flour tortilla. And then we add in some avocado, some cabbage slaw, cilantro. And for my favorite part, we add salsa and a lime crema or chipotle sauce to top it all off. And it's absolutely delicious and surprisingly a lot easier to make than you might think. So let's get started. The first component we're gonna get started on is our lime crema. We're gonna add sour cream, mayo, juice of half a lime, and a little bit of garlic powder. And then we'll just mix that all together, taste it, adjust anything to your liking, and that's it for the lime crema. The lime crema tastes absolutely perfect, so now we're gonna set it aside and start working on our fish. Actually, I changed my mind. I realized we're gonna save the fish for last. I quickly just whipped up a homemade chipotle sauce. I'll pop a video on the side that I posted on TikTok to show how I made it. Usually I make fish tacos with lime crema, but I thought it would just be fun to have two sauces to pick from. So chipotle sauce is done. The other thing that we need to prep is our cabbage. So we're gonna take some green cabbage and chop it up. I like to keep the cabbage slaw really basic. I literally just add green cabbage, but you can also add shredded carrots. You could add purple cabbage. You can even marinate it in a little bit of vinegar, lime juice, salt, black pepper, and I like to also add a little bit of honey, but for this recipe, because the fish is so flavorful, as well as the sauce that we made, I just like to keep the cabbage plain and simple. I wasn't lying when I said this recipe is so easy. Okay, now that everything is prepped, we're actually gonna start working on our fish and any white fish is gonna work for this recipe. I'll be using wild Alaskan cod, but you can use any white fish that you like, like mahi-mahi, halibut, flounder. Just pick your favorite and roll with it. We're gonna be chopping our fish into little small fillets about one inch thick. We're gonna set our fish to the side for now and start working on our tempura batter for the fish. One cup of flour, one fourth cup of cornstarch, one teaspoon of baking powder. Then we're gonna add all our spices, which include salt, black pepper, smoked paprika, chili powder, and garlic powder. That all together and then we're gonna add one cup of cold club soda. This is gonna make our batter super light, bubbly, and really fluffy when it fries. Whisk that all together until you have a nice thick consistency. While we work on the batter for our fish, I like to prep my frying stations. So I'll grab a pot, add some oil, I'm using vegetable oil, and start heating it up. That way when our batter is done, we can start frying our fish. I also like to set up a wire rack over the sink. That way I can transfer the fish over onto the wire rack. This method is a lot better than using a paper towel. That way air can circulate and it's going to prevent your fried fish from going soggy. So use a wire rack if you want your fish to stay as crispy as possible. All right, so our fish tacos are done, and now it's time for my favorite part, which is trying it. We're gonna take a big bite. I'm super happy with how this turned out. The chipotle sauce ended up adding a little bit of spiciness, and then the lime crema made it super refreshing. So I definitely recommend adding both. If you don't wanna make the chipotle sauce, you can also add some red salsa, which I did, and I really enjoyed that. Fish is super flaky, the crust is really crispy. And I know I say this in every video, but I am super excited for you guys to try this recipe out. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe so you never miss when I upload a new recipe. On that note, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.